Hello, so today I'm going to show you how to do a compression joint for a plumbing system. Now you might choose to use one of these um, when you're connecting an existing system. So you've maybe got some existing pipe work, you want to connect it to the water because you can't use solder joints. Um, they're expensive, but, um, but reasonably good and you can reuse these things. So you can actually take one of those off an old system um, and reuse it. They're made up of three bits really. You have the main fitting, you have inside it an olive and then a nut. And the way it works is the olive goes over the pipe like that and then the nut squashes, as you tighten the nut up it squashes that olive into the fitting there and forms a seal. So you can actually do these completely without any extra um, tapes or any sealing compounds, they will actually be watertight, although it's better to use something, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So that's your compression joint. Um, other times you might use it, because obviously it does some, a very similar job to a push fit. Um, but push fit's plastic, so maybe you want to keep electrical continuity through your pipe work for earthing, something like that. Maybe you've got a bunch of these. So let's figure out how to work it. First thing you do, and the bit I always forget, put the nut over the pipe. Now, what you need is some of this, this sealing compound. Um, you get all sorts of different types of it. And what this does, it doesn't really seal it as such, but it more it sort of acts as a lubricant. Um, if you try and tighten up the nut when um, it's, it's just dry, it kind of makes a horrible sort of grating and sometimes it doesn't work properly. So a bit of, bit of lubricant on there, a bit of the sealing compound, I should say. Stick the, stick the olive on and then maybe a bit more on the top of there. You take your compression fitting, push it on until it stops again, and then simply do up the nut like this. Now then, what we do then, just take a spanner and you can do up that nut. You'll be doing up the nut against the against the actual um, fitting. So if you're doing this in situ, you probably want to hold onto these with a pair of mole grips or something to hold it still while you do that nut up. Um, and all you're doing is tightening the nut until it feels sort of tight. Um, maybe a little bit more than you would do with a door handle. If you do it too much, you damage the olive and it will leak. So the best thing to do is tighten it up until, really until it doesn't turn. So that's still turned slightly. So a little bit more on there. There we are, that's fairly fixed now, so that should be okay. And the thing is, you put it on, turn the water on, if you get a slight leak, you can always take your spanner and just tighten it up a little bit more. If you've over tightened it, it will leak and you've got to switch the whole thing off and take it off again. Now, the trick to these is obviously, is the olive. Um, they can buy olives separately. You can buy a whole bag of these for next to nothing. So always keep a, a load of those in your toolbox if you're using compression fittings. And you just take an old one, replace the olive. You can't reuse olives and you're good to go again. You can use these as many times as you like. Um, and that's it really. That's one thing I should add. There's a lot of rubbish talked about compression joints. You see people doing all sorts of things. You see people with giving it loads of PTFE tape, trying to get it round the, round the olive. It seals the olive in place. It's really fiddly to get it the right depth. And what's the point? Um, you don't need any of that. All you need is a smear of that stuff and do the joint up. It works perfectly well um, without it. So now if you want to try and get an olive off an old pipe, so this is one that's been used, I've taken off the fitting and you find there's an olive and you find that it's stuck. Um, now, very hard to get off. You can't always get them off, but sometimes you can get them off. If you use an adjustable spanner, tighten it up so it's just just the sort of size of the pipe, and then you can whack it. And sometimes they'll come off. Sometimes they won't, sometimes they will. Um, but there you are. The other advantage of these things is you can use it on um, silver pipes, on chromed pipes, should I say. Um, you can't do soldering on these and you can also get these in chrome themselves so you can make posh sort of bathroom fittings um, with these things so there we are as i said simple as that <laughs> 